What's up everyone, welcome back to The Fitness Freak. In today's video, we'll be looking at the Farhan Akhtar's Tufani body transformation. I recently came across this video and it grabbed my attention because they are talking about more than one transformation over here. Meaning the actor had to go from a 70 kilo frame to an 85 kilo overweight physique and then again lean down alongside learning boxing and resistance training in order to reach Tufan character role. Also, there's a lot of critiques around this video uh, stating that, oh, this is not natural and uh, this cannot be done within a short span of time and all those things. So I wanted to make this video for two reasons. One, to help you understand whether this sort of a transformation can be achieved naturally. And two, if you are a person who is currently working out or is looking forward to working out, whether you are overweight or underweight or just looking to get in shape and are relying on the information given in this video, I wanted to help you understand whether this information is reliable or not. So with all of that out of the way, let's get into the video. So first off, let's look at the overweight part of this video. In this, they are stating that Farhan Akhtar gained anywhere from 12 to 15 kilos within a period of three months and that he was always on a 4,500 to 5,000 calorie diet. 85. There's a couple of things that you need to understand in this process. One is that Farhan Akhtar hasn't ever been overweight in his entire life. Okay. Like his personal trainer says, he's an ectomorph. That just means that it's hard for him to put on weight. Farhan being a, an ectomorph, which is someone who struggles to put on weight. Now, a lot of you people who are also ectomorphs and who find it very hard to gain weight, the way that he managed to gain weight is quite simple. Always remember, this is an actor we are talking about and, and his transformations aren't just his efforts alone. It is the effort of a team that's working behind him. Now, I'm talking about his fitness trainer, this guy, his uh, physiotherapist, this guy, and his coach, this guy. If he is putting on weight or if he is shredding down, apart from his own efforts, it is the combined efforts of all of these people behind the scene. But that's not easy for us common people, right? We need to do a certain amount of research. Now that involves, that involves research regarding how much calories we need to consume, where to get those calories from, and what exercises we need to perform, and also how much time we need to rest and what stretches we need to do in order to reach our desired physique. They are saying in this video that he has consumed a total of 4,500 calories per day for almost a period of three months. Fahan had to be eating like 4,500 calories, even 5,000 calories. Based on his current height, weight and age. For the purpose of this video, we're going to take his current weight as 70 kilos. Okay, so that seems to be his normal weight. And from there, he has gone up to 85 kilos. Okay, so a simple calculation. Go to total daily energy expenditure calculator. Okay, and if you enter all of these information of Farhan Akhtar's, meaning his age is 45, his height is uh, 175 centimeters, his weight is 70 kilos, you'll be getting a table. And in that table, you'll be seeing that this sort of a person needs to consume anywhere about 3,300 to 3,800 calories. That would help him to gain around one kilo of body weight per week. So this is an estimated amount of calories that he needs to consume. So to be on par with his schedule, his nutritionist has upped these calories from 3,300, which is, which is as per the TDEE, to a 4,500 calorie. Consuming that much of excess calorie is obviously going to result in an increase in his body weight. Consuming 4,500 calories on his daily diet, he was able to gain anywhere from 1.25 kilos to 1.5 kilos per week. This in turn reflects as a total of 15 kilos in a period of three months. Alright, another key thing that all of you need to remember, any one of you is extremely skinny or an ectomorph and are watching this video right now your lights would go up saying like, ha, I found the solution. I just need to eat 4,500 calories every day, right? Not quite. So if you are very lean and looking to gain weight, you shouldn't blindly eat just 4,500 calories every day, okay? You should find out your total daily energy expenditure and eat slightly more than that in order to keep gaining weight accordingly. If you have any doubts in how to calculate your total daily energy expenditure, there's a link below in the description. Click it, go to that website and calculate how much calories you need to consume. So, moving on with the video. Diet wasn't the only thing that he was doing. He was also working out alongside this. Okay? 
okay he wasn't completely inactive for this period of 3 months no he was still doing his mobility drills he was still doing his resistance training as a result he got bulky okay like if you look at his shirtless pictures and all he doesn't look really fat he looks he looks like a natural bodybuilder who is on an off season like he's he's bulked up right now the reason that is happening is because as he is consuming more calories he is lifting heavier weights like his boxing coach tells he he was leg pressing around 300 kg being in the gym with Farhan and Nepi leg pressing like 250 300 kg which is more than he was lifting before and it was purely because he got the calories in him you know he was eating more food so he got the energy to do it he is deadlifting in this scene he is deadlifting anywhere like 120 120 to 130 kg so he is literally pushing himself in the gym hence he is becoming bigger and he is looking more buffer and that's the reason that the excess calories that he is consuming is not getting stored in the form of flabs in contrast if you look at uh, the dangal amir khan's physique like i'm bringing up that physique because there's a difference between this and that okay he was also on a caloric surplus for that weight gain portion and if you look at that he looked flabby like he looked like does he even lift that sort of a physique what he had okay that was because he wasn't doing much of physical activities during that phase he was he was completely being sedentary and he was just eating going to sleep eating going to sleep that in turn resulted in that sort of a flabby look this look is not flabby this look is the look that they want to portray in the film an ex boxer who is coming back now if you ask whether this bulking up possible naturally of course it is if you need to bulk up properly without having mood swings and without having like digestion problems and irritations you need to just stick to your total daily energy expenditure consume 300 to 500 calories max above that and you'll be well on your way to gaining weight next off let's go to the shredding part As per what his boxing coach has said, the cutting phase has taken Farhan Akhtar about three months to get back in this uh, boxer shape. He had to lose body fat, so of course he's on a calorie deficit. When I say he was on 1,500 calories, he was on 1,500 calories counted. And there are three important things that all of you need to remember when it comes to Farhan Akhtar's cutting phase. One, body type. He is an ectomorph. Two, caloric deficit. Just like caloric surplus is king for gaining weight, caloric deficit is king for losing weight. He was on a caloric deficit of 1,500 calories per day. And three, muscle memory. Since the guy was never overweight before, and he has already worked out quite intensely for his previous flicks, Bag Milka Bag, his body isn't new to working out. So once he starts to work out, it's pretty. easy for the body to understand that oh i've started to work out it's time to bring out the muscles i need to use these nutrients to start fueling the muscles instead of just storing that's what's called as muscle memory so his body is just adapting to the situation immediately because one he has never been overweight he's always been an ectomorph and two he has had a reasonable amount of fitness like for a guy who's 45 years old he looks pretty fit now apart from these three things we have to remember two important things One is that Farhan Akhtar was extremely disciplined throughout this diet. Okay, so he didn't even want to go out once or twice with his colleagues because he knew and he understood the fact that if he goes out, he would have to break through the diet. He would have to get indulged in a snack or a drink or something that would break his diet. So he didn't want to take that chance because he was on a very lean 1,500 calorie diet. So for people who don't understand how less 1500 calories is if you have just four chapatis that is 450 calories so 1500 calories is like 12 chapatis that's all so you don't you don't get to eat anything more than that the guy was on that sort of a diet for a period of not just one month but three months completely and hence he was able to drop the weight and he was not just on the diet for three months continuously alongside being on this sort of a lean diet he was also one doing resistance training with this guy two doing boxing training and boxing practice remember this guy doesn't know boxing so he was learning everything from scratch so he was doing boxing practice with this guy and three he was also practicing on acting for the film over here so all these three things with just 1500 calories 
Dedication is one thing, but a basic understanding of caloric intake, whether you need to be on a caloric surplus or a caloric deficit in order to reach a certain body type or a certain physique is critical in order to be successful in any sort of a transformation. Whether you are having physiotherapists on your doorstep and whether you are having fitness trainers with you all the time or not. I would say this transformation is extremely possible naturally, not just for someone who is in their 20s but even for someone who is in their 40s. Whether you want to bulk up or lose weight, this is extremely possible given you stick to caloric intake as per your total daily energy expenditure and use that in the diet accordingly alongside a reasonable amount of resistant training and cardio. If you've got any doubts regarding how to structure your caloric deficit diet, I've already made a video of that and that is over here. And if you are looking to gain weight and are puzzled on how to do that, I've already made a video on that too and that video is linked here. If you have figured out these diets and are looking forward to get started working out, I've made a comprehensive workout routine which you can follow from your own homes. Gyms aren't accessible and that link is over here. Ultimately guys, the takeoff that we should all have, apart from just being blindly inspired by this sort of a transformative video, I get it, these videos are made to, to one, hype the movie and two, to inspire people. And most people, like I used to be one of those people who used to be, get blindly inspired by things. I used to just see a workout, a guy working out really hard and I used to just get inspired and I just go to the gym and in the next 15 minutes I'll get tired and pass out. But the thing is, as we work out, as we keep working out, we'll start to think more and we'll start to understand the information that's being conveyed. So I would advise all of you guys to learn to take the right information from these sorts of videos, which in this case is a good understanding of caloric surplus and caloric deficit and also that discipline and consistency is the key for all sorts of transformation, whether it is Physically, mentally or financially, you have to be disciplined and you have to be consistent. So that's it for the video guys. If you found value in this video, please support me by liking this video, subscribing to my channel and turning on that bell icon so that you'll get updated on my future video notifications. Also, if you like this sort of video formats, mention that in the comment section below so that I'll know what sort of videos to make in the future. So that's it for the video. I'll talk to you soon. Until then, keep it fit.